Hello world, today I'll be going over how to install client mods onto your desktop. So there are a few ways to accomplish this. The first way we're going to be going over is the official Forge way. So uh, we're going with Minecraft version 1.12.2. This has a lot of the uh, latest Forge mods available for it. So just go ahead and download uh, the latest bug fix uh, installer right here. Once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and run the installer. Just double click the jar file. Uh, do note you will need Java 8 installed. Uh, here on my Linux desktop on uh, Fedora, I have OpenJDK 8, the uh, free and open source version of Java. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this on the default setting, install clients. And uh, notice that it's installing to the default uh, Minecraft directory. So we'll just click OK and uh, Forge will just do its magic and install everything for us. Now this is very different than how it used to be back in the day. I used to be almost afraid of using mods. It was, it was a little bit too complicated for, for me and my friends to wrap our heads around where you had to open up the jar archive, which is just a zip file, and then change around a few files, delete a few things, change a few text files, settings. Um, but that is now completely streamlined, so thank goodness for that. It's made it a lot easier to play with mods with my friends nowadays. Now when we open up the official Minecraft launcher, we'll notice that there is now an option for the Forge profile. Now once you have your official Minecraft client open, go on down to your profiles. I already have a few set up here, but you want to scroll down and look for the uh, Forge 1.12.2 that we just set up. Be sure to click that and go ahead and press play. By launching the Forge profile, this will go ahead and set up a few things for the mod to get things ready. And then we can go into the Minecraft installation folder. There will be a new mods folder automatically created for us. And this is where we're going to want to place all of our mods. Now the Minecraft installation folder, its location is different based off of what platform you're on. If you're running Windows, it's going to be in app data. If you're on Mac OS, it's going to be in library, application support, and in Linux, it's going to be in your home folder. So here we can see we have Minecraft loaded and so set up a handful of mods in here and click in the mods folder to get a more broader view of the actual mods that are available here. Another way to install Forge onto your computer is to use MultiMC. This is my preferred way of handling it as you can have multiple instances that handle different modded versions of Minecraft. On the main page, you can just scroll down to download and install and download the relevant package for your system. Now once you have it installed, we can move on to how to actually use MultiMC to manage all of your mods. When you launch MultiMC for the first time, you're going to have to add your Minecraft profile. This way you can download all the necessary files from Mojang. Here we can see my profile is already set up and I can add more accounts if necessary. So to create a new instance, we're going to go ahead and add instance. We can name it whatever we want. I'll put Minecraft Mine Tutorial. Be sure to select the Minecraft version you want and hit OK. Now this is set up to play just a vanilla world, but we want to add Forge onto here. So click Edit Instance. Then go to install Forge on the right. And here you're going to want to select the correct version of Forge for you. For me, I like to be using the latest bug fix here. Now, so this is also the same version that we had downloaded earlier. We'll click OK. Now the next time we go ahead and launch the game, it will install Forge for us automatically. So because Forge mods use up a lot of RAM, 
one of the first things you're going to want to do is go into the main global settings for MultiMC and then select Java. Here we can tweak the memory allocations for us. So because I have a lot of RAM on my computer, I set the minimum allocation to one gigabyte and the maximum to 16 gigabytes. Now I recommend to keep the maximum uh, below the uh, actual amount of RAM you have on your computer, maybe by a couple gigabytes because you do want to leave some room for your actual operating system and processes to run. Now to show how to install a client-only mod, I'm going to be using Optifine as an example. This is a fantastic mod, whether you have a gaming computer or a low-end of the mill laptop or desktop computer, Optifine is fantastic because it helps improve your frame rates. This is one of those mods where it can only help, it can't hurt in any way, so you might as well give it a try and see how it improves your gameplay. Now you're going to want to download the latest version here. Make sure it lines up with your modded version of Minecraft as well. Now if you're not using MultiMC, you can just drag that file from your downloads folder into your Minecraft installation folder. For MultiMC, be sure to select your instance and then select the Minecraft folder. There will be a mods folder in here, and this is where we can place our Optifine mod. Now the next time we go to run our instance, the mod will be loaded up. So we're going to go ahead and launch this here. We can go in here in the mods folder to see everything that's loaded up. And we do see Optifine is right here. A nice little trick here is that if you actually want to disable all your mods, is to simply rename this folder. Once you do that, then Forge tries to look for a mods folder. It doesn't exist, it can't find files it's looking for, and so it has nothing to load. Alternatively, you can go into here and rename any mod in Instead of having the jar extension, you're going to want to change that to anything else. Forge will only look in here to load jar files. Anything that is not a jar will not be loaded. In my next video, we'll be covering how to deal with server-side mods. Thank you so much for watching, and keep on mining.